All right, my friends, so we actually had a uh, viewer uh, comment on one of our iPad videos just the other day asking us if we could explain how to put your iPad, your iPhone in a uh, portrait lock so that it doesn't rotate. And he was saying that he'd watched a whole bunch of videos and nobody could really explain how to do it properly. So I figured let's make a quick video for him. So him, her, I'm not really sure that that person um, to, to uh, show them how, how this is done. So we've got our iPad Air fourth generation and we've got our iPhone Pro 12 and uh, we'll show you how to do it on both. All right, coming up. All right, my friends, so here, here's the iPad, right? Here's the iPad Air fourth gen and we're just gonna unlock it here. You guys don't need to see my password. And th this is actually pretty simple. Now, if you have an older iPad, uh, you, you, and I say older, right? There was before a little toggle switch uh, and that toggle switch you could actually change to either be like a mute, so it's just to click it down to mute, turn the volume right off, or you could in the settings turn it to be a uh, portrait lock, so your portrait mode, um, or orientation lock. So uh, that's gone, and really it's, it's about a, a swipe gesture now, okay? Everything on the iPad and the iPhone really is about gestures and swipes. So. First thing to realize is this this gesture is top right hand corner. Now it doesn't matter how you hold the iPad, top right hand corner, okay? So you'll see top right hand corner. I'm not coming up here, I'm coming to the top of the screen and you really wanna make sure that your finger is kinda of resting because it's that, that feeling that the iPad gets when it feels the finger enter the screen. Okay, so you're kinda of resting it up here and you're just gonna pull down and you'll see this screen pop up. That's it, nice and simple. And there it is, right there. There's a little moon and a little lock with a little circle that goes around it. Tap that, there you go. You'll see rotation lock is on. Tap it again, rotation lock is off. There you go. Now, the, the thing is, as I said, top right hand corner, okay? So I've seen a lot of people say, oh, it's up by the power button or the, um, sleep wake button i guess they call it now the sleep wake button on mine right now is down is down here so that's not necessarily true because then you'd be down here doing it now that's true when the screen is this way because again it's always top right hand corner right spin this top right hand corner spin this get it to spin top right hand corner okay if we turn that on no more orientation, right? Orientation is, is done. We've lost we've lost the orientation, now we pull back and turn that, okay? So just, just a little advance on that. Top right hand, so the screen is kind of split, right? So if you do it here, you get something different. It has to be in this corner, right? Anything over here, you'll get the notification center pull up, okay? So corner, notification center down at the bottom, of course, or in my regards, this is actually considered the top because this is this is where your camera and your, your other button is, okay? I'll just spin that around. Um, bottom, bottom brings up your, I wanna say like your task manager, your history, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and it's, you bring this up with a, with a swipe and it's really designed more, I think, because of the way the iPhone was used. Because the iPhone actually, you can't, it's really hard to slide straight up you, you arch, right? Because that's just the position of your thumb. Your thumb arches like this, right? So on here, same thing. We come right to the bottom. Start at the bottom and up and arch. And you'll see you get all your apps that you've previously had open, which now you can slide off if you don't want or just go, go to one of them, right? So this is a nice quick access way to get to applications that you and I have used in the past which is kind of nice. So that's the iPad. So basically same idea here on the iPhone, um, right? Top right hand corner, boom, there it is. Now realize that the iPhone doesn't allow the home screen, at least I believe it does on the Macs, but not on anything smaller. So 
you'll never get it over here, right? It is always up here, right? Same thing over here, notification center, and same thing here, you swipe an arch, you get that list of all your previous apps. But there it is, there's that little fellow right there, portrait orientation lock, and off. Simple, right? All right, guys, um, that's, that's it. Hopefully this helped our viewer uh, figure out how to do that because that's a hard one really, I think, to explain. Anything that's gesture-wise, it's way easier just to show it. Um, and if you guys have any little, uh, how, how, how do you do X? How do you do X? Uh, we, we are more than happy to try and uh, show that in a future video. Those make the nice little small videos. We like those. Yeah. All right, guys. Leave comments down below if this helped you. Or if you have any, how, how do I dot, dot, dot for a future one. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell somewhere. Voila. And uh, we will see you fine folks uh, tomorrow. My hair's all like, whoa. I just I actually just, just got up. This is early for me. It's early in the morning. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.